In this series, I'm showing you how to get the most out of Outlook using Python. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work around the sending limits that restricts the number of recipients per message. As always, check the video description for relevant links that I mention in the video. I'm going to be using the IDLE Interactive Python shell, which comes packaged with Python. If you want to use the same, just type in IDLE to your command prompt, otherwise you can follow along with any code editor or IDE you wish. So, without further ado, let's get started. If you're sending to a distribution of people that cannot be in a formal distribution list, you're limited to 500 recipients per message. To get around this, you can break the distribution list into chunks of 500. So, let's import the Win32Com library as normal. Next, I'm going to create a dummy distribution list. Normally, you would probably use an Excel spreadsheet, a database, or CSV file. However, I'm just going to use my testing account and repeat it 1,567 times, just to get an odd number to work with. Now, in these examples, I'm using for loops because it's easier for people to follow on these tutorials. However, if you want to use list comprehensions, you can consolidate the distro and chunk list creation into two lines of code instead of the seven that it takes with for loops. Now that I have a distribution list with lots of addresses, I need to somehow break this list into chunks of 500. This is actually fairly simple with list slicing. First, create an empty chunk list. Then type in for x in range, and now we have to give the range parameters. The range that we're iterating over is the entire length of the distribution list from zero to the end, which is 1567. However, we're going to be moving in chunks of 500. Now, the chunk address is from x to x plus 500 as we iterate, because the chunk size is 500 units. So chunk is equal to type chunk equals distro x colon x plus 500, which is that range of 500. Next, we append the chunk to the chunk list, chunks.append chunk. If we want to check whether this distro list was chunked correctly, we can print the length of each chunk. So type in for c in chunks, print count of items, and then len c, which is the length of that chunk. And you can see here that we have uh, four chunks, and the last one is the smallest because it's the residual amount. Now that we have the chunks created, we can now dispatch Outlook and create a message for each chunk. First, let's dispatch Outlook. Next, we're going to iter over, iterate over each chunk in the chunk list. So type for recipients in chunks. Now for each chunk, we're going to create a message. Add the recipients to the message, then add the other relevant properties, and then save the message to drafts. So type in message equals outlook.createItem and then pass in zero, which is the item type for a mail message. You can see that we're using recipients variable to iterate over chunks and recipients is a list of the addresses in that chunk. And what we need to do is join all of those addresses into a string that is recognizable by Outlook. To do this, we use the join method and we're going to join all of those list items with a semicolon. So type message.2 equals, and put that semicolon in quotes, dot join, and then we're gonna put that recipients list. Now let's add the other properties. Message.subject equals missing time alert. And let's add the body. Message.body equals Please submit your time as soon as possible. Finally, we'll save the message to the drafts folder, so type in message.save. I should now have four email drafts in my drafts folder ready to be sent, so let's check it out. And there it is. As you can see, chunking a distribution list is not too difficult and is a good way to automate your way around the 500 recipient limit. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to work around the 30 message per minute limit by automating the creation and release of emails with the use of timers. 
See you in the next video.